EA Sports. It's in the game. EA Sports. It's in the Welcome to this one day match between Namibia and India at Harare. So the outcome is that Namibia have won the toss and elected to bat first. It'll be interesting to see if that was the right decision. We have a great day here for cricket today, hot and dry. Jim Maxwell is with me in the commentary box for this game. You were out in the middle earlier, Jim. How did the pitch look then? Good morning, everyone. This is a really good cricket pitch with something in it for both the bowlers and the batsmen. There'll be some movement there for the bowlers, but if the batsmen keep their concentration and play sensible... There's a lively crowd inside the stadium, and that will create an excellent atmosphere for this game. So, let's take a look at the teams. Namibia are about to start their innings. Khan is coming around the wicket. It's in the air, but it's four runs. He was onto that in a flash. He hit that over the field superbly. Berger facing. Out caught. Needed an early wicket, and they got one. Khan gets his first wicket. This was how the wicket fell. Berger goes for only four. Well, it seems like miles back to the pavilion when you've got out cheaply. It's straight to a fielder. Khan to Kilda. Steered expertly into the gap. One run to Kilda. Comfortably held by Agarka. That was a lazy shot. He didn't get over it at all. Khan gets his second wicket. This was how the innings ended for Karg. That's a duck for Karg. That's an extremely long walk when you've been dismissed for a duck. Yeah, yeah. The batsman will have to run these. Just one run. Six runs came from that over for Namibia. The openers will be looking to take advantage of the fielding restrictions early on. Yeah. Flicked away nicely. Fielded down at fine leg by Harbhajan Singh. There's uh, just one there. Stopped by Kumble. Kulda waiting at the striker's end.
The Gaka to bowl to Kilda. It's straight at Ganguly. Kilda waiting at the striker's end. Kilda facing. Stopped by Kumble. Agaka to Kilda. Great shot by Kilda. That's the first boundary for Kilda. That was a nicely timed shot. You don't need to smash the ball to the boundary every time. Kilda waiting at the striker's end. It's in the air. That was really well judged. It went a long way up. He kept his concentration really well. He had a long time to think about that before it came down. Agaka gets his first wicket. Let's take a look at that in uh, slow motion. Kulda is making his way back to the pavilion. That's a long walk back when you haven't scored many runs. Five runs came from that over by Agaka. Khan at the start of his run-up. He's got that one over the infield and away for four. Murgatroyd very quickly onto that one. The bowlers really need to keep it tight at this stage of the match. Yep. Flicked off his legs. You must be sure that you keep your eyes on the ball or you'll fumble it just like that. Well, that could go all the way to the boundary. Picked up very early by Murgatroyd. He picked that ball up beautifully. The bowler will have to be careful not to put the ball in that area again. Khan to bowl to Murgatroyd. It's straight at Ganguly. Murgatroyd facing. Khan continues. That over cost eight runs. Agaka to bowl the last of his allotted overs. It's straight to a fielder. Agaka continues. Khan is after it. Yes. Two runs to Kotsi. Agaka to bowl to Kotsi.
Yeah. I didn't quite get hold of that one properly. An easy single there to Kotze. Murgatroyd facing. Got it into the gap. One more to Murgatroyd. And that's out. Caught by Lexman. Great catch. To use the old saying, catches win matches. Agaka gets his second wicket. This was the end of the innings for Kotze. Kotze scored three runs from four balls. Well, he didn't get many out there. Agaka with the final ball of his spell. It's straight a Kumble. Four runs were picked up from that over by Berger. The key will be to try to bat out the innings while progressively lifting the current run rate. That's out. Caught. Very safely taken. Soft hands, that's what's important. Habishan Singh gets his first wicket. Let's uh, see the action replay of that. So then, that's the end of Murgatroyd. Stopped by Agaka. Snyman waiting at the striker's end. It's straight to a fielder. Habishan Singh to Snyman. Snyman facing. Outstanding catch. The batsman will be kicking himself over that. It wasn't a great shot and he looked to be in good form. Habishan Singh gets his second wicket. This was how the innings ended for Snyman. Snyman is out for a duck. He's back in the pavilion with a big round zero to his name. It's straight to a fielder. Five overs are left for Namibia. An excellent over there. He didn't give the batsman anything to hit at all. Kumble out at long off. A single to Berger. Averis, the ball to Berger. Berger waiting at the striker's end.
Khan is chasing that one, tucked off his legs. That's two more runs on the board. He's got him. He's gone. He played completely down the wrong line and it made a mess of the stumps. Averis gets his first wicket. We can have a look at that again. Berger goes for only two. Now we're down to 9-10 Jack. There it goes. A good catch from Patel. Well held. It might not have been the hardest chance, but it still had to be taken. Averis gets his second wicket. This was the end of the innings for Van Schur. That's a duck for Van Schur. A first ball duck. All that way just for one ball. Three runs came from that over for Namibia. Harbhajan Singh to continue with his off-spin. Harbhajan Singh has got him. Well bowled there. He kept it straight and waited for the batsman to make a mistake. That's the third wicket now for Harbhajan Singh. This was how the wicket fell. Namibia, a nine down now for 28. Comfortably held by Kumble. Superb catch. The batsman won't have expected him to hold on to that. Harbhajan Singh gets his fourth wicket. This was how the innings ended for Van Vuren. Namibia are all out for 28. Namibia would have hoped to give their bowlers a little more to bowl at. The bowlers can be very pleased with themselves. India require 29 to win. cleared the infield. That's the first boundary of the innings for India. What a good placement. No one at home, over the top before. Averis facing. Berger is in pursuit. Run! Run! Berger just picks that up inside the rope. They've managed to get three out of that. Excellent running. Good running between the wickets can add those extra few runs to the total that can really make a difference when it comes down to the wire. That's gone high in the air. And safe. The bowler is giving him a pretty mean stare after that. Perhaps he should avoid the dressing rooms for a while after the game. Stopped by Berger. Just one run, 21 runs required. We can expect more winning cricket in this tournament from India. Yeah, run! That's a superb throw. He doesn't look pleased with his partner there. It certainly wasn't the greatest call in the world. This was the end of the innings for Dravid. Dravid makes his way back to the dressing room. Tendulkar waiting at the striker's end. Yeah, yeah. Ah! Oh dear, that's a terrible misfield. More runs to the batting team. That over cost eight runs. The required run rate is around two and over. India will be looking to blast away from the start with fielding restrictions in place. Kotsi is after yeah. that one. Run. Run. The sweeper picks up.
three runs to Averis. Well, it might be a cliche, but it does hold true. Good running between the wickets helps to win games. There's uh, just one there. Yes. Van Vuren, the ball to Tendorka. There it goes. Run. Berger is underneath it and takes it comfortably. That was moving pretty quickly and he did well to cling onto it. Van Vuren gets his first wicket. Let's take a look at that in uh, slow motion. India, two down now for 13. That's been given as a wide. You can't get away with any width in one day cricket because the umpire will call you for a wide. Averis waiting at the striker's end. And six. Averis moves on to 16. Excellent batting. Got himself to the pitch and struck it hard for six. over the rope. Six runs off Van Vuren. Van Vuren won't like that at all. Great strike. It looked like six the moment he struck it. That over helped the run rate somewhat. That's out. Caught. Well done the fieldsman. He really backed up the bowler's effort. Snyman gets his first wicket. This was the end of the innings for Van Vuren. So then... That's the end of Ganguly. Well, he hasn't troubled the scorers with that innings. There it goes, right out of the ground. That was still going up as it cleared the rope. The straight drive is his favourite shot, and it shows. India have won a hard-fought contest here. So to sum up then, India win by seven wickets.